Well, the New York City bodega clerk making headlines this week is now out on bail. Jose Alba was arrested and held behind bars after fatally stabbing another man during an altercation behind the store's counter. Now, the exchange all caught on store surveillance. It shows the moment Alba was confronted and then the entire confrontation that unfolded. The video's release is sparking conversations all around the nation on whether this should be considered murder or self-defense. Alba is still facing a second-degree murder charge. As News Nation correspondent Paul Gerke explains, it's a charge many people, including New York City's mayor, want thrown out. The incident occurred late last Friday night at Blue Moon Convenience Store in Hamilton Heights, a neighborhood six and a half miles north of Midtown Manhattan. A woman tries to buy a bag of chips for her daughter, but her EBT card is declined. An argument ensues. The clerk, Jose Alba, takes the chips back. The woman leaves the store, returning with her boyfriend, Austin Simon. You can see Simon walk behind the counter and shove Alba against the wall. A scuffle breaks out. Alba reaches for a knife on the counter and stabs Simon several times. Simon was later pronounced dead at the hospital. Alba waited for police to arrive. He was arrested and charged with murder, sent to Rikers Island on $250,000 bail. That bail was lowered to $50,000 Thursday after prosecutors were convinced Alba would not be a flight risk. He was supposed to visit family in the Dominican Republic next week, but now he's been forced to surrender his passport, wear an ankle monitor, and cannot leave the five boroughs. Alba returned to his apartment Thursday night, shielding his face from cameras and offering no comment to the media. New York City Mayor Eric Adams was more vocal, publicly supporting Alba despite the charge he's facing. My heart goes out for that hard-working, honest New Yorker that was doing his job in his place of business where a person came in and went behind the counter and attacked him. I am hoping that we take all of that into consideration. Going by the books, Alba's actions do appear to be in self-defense. According to the relevant New York statute, a person may use physical force upon another when and to the extent he or she reasonably believes such to be necessary to defend himself from what he or she reasonably believes to be the use or imminent use of unlawful physical force by such other person. The 61-year-old store clerk's son, Jeffrey, says his father is not a violent man and was genuinely afraid for his life. On the other hand, Simon, the man who was stabbed, was on parole for assaulting a police officer and had a lengthy criminal record. His girlfriend actually had a knife of her own. She reached into her purse and grabbed it and stabbed the store clerk several times during the encounter. To this point, she has not been charged with a crime. We'll let you know if that changes, Nicole. Yeah, so many opinions on this one, Paul. All right, thank you for that. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.